Okay, so just an initial comment. Uh, I didn't really know how to cook this turkey, so I did ask my community what they thought. And they were kind of even spatchcock it on the kettle, spin it on the kettle, or cook it in the WSM um, as a whole bird, or cook it in the oven, but not very many voted for that. Anyway, uh, Ryan from uh, Grill Top Experience, he actually mentioned that, well, you have a picanha video doing the rotisserie cook and you have a goose video doing the rotisserie cook. So why not make a turkey on the rotisserie? And I thought that was actually a pretty good idea. So that's what I did. Tag along. Hello and welcome to Spoon and Barbecue. Today is a historic day for me. First time I'm uh, cooking whole turkey and I'm going to do it on the Webel Weber kettle rotisserie. I practiced with a goose a while back. I'll link to that up there uh, if you want to see that. So I started off preparing the turkey this morning and I'm just going to continue I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Uh, and then it's time to put it on the grill. But first off, we need to fix the grill finished so that it's just to put the rotisserie on there. Okay, as you can see, I've prepped the, the grill with the Weber charcoal baskets. Uh, on each side, I have a small chunk of apple. Uh, what I did was I took one whole charcoal basket, or actually I filled both of them up and then I lit half of them. So we're just going to get these burning ones distributed kind of evenly. So I'm thinking this will take somewhere between two and a half or two, two and a half, three hours. The turkey I have is um, 11 pounds, so it's not huge in any way, but it's big for me. Okay, so. We got that on the bottom. Then we're gonna protect the middle with this. I don't know, did you see the, if you saw the goose? Well then, you've seen how I'm gonna do this. Although I didn't show it then, so what I'm doing, I'm just folding the edge here from one over the edge of the next. And do the same on this one. And there we go. I've got my probe over there, kind of hanging on the edge. We'll see if it sticks there once the rotisserie starts spinning, but oh well, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid on and we're gonna prepare the turkey. So here we have two sticks of clarified butter and I added four uh, tablespoons of the rub, just mixing it together and then we're gonna inject with that. So I'm using my brand new Injector, I haven't tried it, so we'll see. I'm just gonna suck some of this up. Yeah, should be fine. Uh, this turkey, uh, what I did was I seasoned it all over with uh, Mrs. Dash Hardigan Herbs. Um, I filled it with two apples, I just cut them in quarters. And then I trussed it up a little bit just to keep it together. The wing tips were already taken off and the neck hole here is kind of open, so I'm going to inject from that side, just get this in there and then start pressing it, the injection into the bird. It's kind of swelling up, which is what we get, want, I guess. And as you can see, I've already put my meter in there. Gonna see if that performs as well on this one as it did on the on the goose. It worked really nice on that one. Okay, so I don't know if they have cut this a lot, but it is kind of leaking some into the legs as well. Just put a little bit up here as well. And then I'm actually, I think I'm gonna pour the rest of it inside. Anyway, and uh, then we're gonna put the spit on. What I wanna do is I wanna get down here below the legs through the bird because I want to have, and then I wanna come out. I think that's a little bit too low. We're gonna see if I have some kind of balance. No, I don't. I'm gonna stick it through again. 
I want it a little bit higher. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in there. Put the other one from this side. Okay, so the meter probe is here. I think that's actually pointing in a pretty lousy direction. I'm gonna put it in so that it's underneath the leg here, but I don't want it to hit bone. There we go. Put the rest of the butter on the inside of the bird, together with some of the spices. There we go. Okay, we're gonna get this on the grill. And we're gonna get the spit here. Just stick it through the hole into the engine. This rotisserie does not require a um, counterweight, which is good. Wonder if that's gonna work. So let's see if it spins. Well, it spins. So what do you guys say? I think we're just gonna leave it to its own devices. It's gonna put this on. And then I'll see you in, well, let's say two hours. Okay, so it's only been half an hour, but I feel that the temp is rising too much. So it's almost 400, so let's check it. It's got a lot of color. It's burning way too fast, I think. I'm gonna lower the vents a little bit. Okay, so I have the bottom vents that somewhere around a third, maybe half. And then it's to bring the temp down a little bit, I'm gonna close the top van just a tad, so it's like three quarter open. Okay, back in a bit. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half. Oh, it looks very nice. I'll take the temp. The meter says that we're nowhere close, we're just at 150, but I just wanna double check that. This says 120. This says 133. Yeah, I'm gonna let it go. It's got a nice color. I'm liking this. See you in a bit. There we go, let's try it. It's really good. It's actually juicy as well. Hmm. It's really good. Thank you for watching. Bye.